sponsored by Vitamin Fortified Post Grape Nuts. Just crunchy little nuggets of wheat and barley with no preservatives. Grape Nuts, the simple cereal. I was telling you about Mr. Beale owns the Panthers. Oh, wow. What a pleasure to meet you, sir. I love your team. Particularly Mad Dog. The peanuts you're eating, you know. What can I do? This guy's giving my ulcer an ulcer. Oh, he's always cool in the spring, sir. Don't, don't worry about it. You know, he picks up during the season. Pitching isn't Dean's problem. Uh, Karen, Dean was arrested last night for rolling with a couple of fans who got on $25,000 bond, and Mr. Beal put up the money. You're kidding. 25 grand. Wow. He really, he, what did he do? Rough him up pretty good? Well, one of them had a couple of stitches, but the other had a broken nose and a concussion. Are we doing the criminal or the civil? Well, uh, both if necessary. Mr. B would like this handled uh, very quietly and very quickly and uh, keep it out of court. I want Dean's mind on winning ball games only at the start of the season. The settlement's gonna cost a fortune. Everybody knows how much this poor guy made. That's your job, Cass, to keep it in the ballpark. You want hot dogs, sir? Oh, that's right. You got your thing. Three, please. No, two. Two is fine. Oh, oh come on. I'm, I'm all right. I'm all, no, come on. I'm not going to come out of you. No, I'm not coming out. I'm not coming out. Look at he's doing now. Look at little, 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 little. Okay, I'm taking the ball. That's it. I'm taking the ball. You want to get, get another ball? He's a beauty, isn't he? <laughs> might be a good time for you to go down and talk to Dean. This is a good time for me to talk to him? Yeah, don't strike out. Good. I personally never would have taken you out. How you doing? Wait a minute, now, I don't, I don't give any interviews here. You're not supposed to be in here. The press isn't allowed in here. No, no, I'm not from the press. Believe it or not, I'm your attorney. You're Bennett? No, no, I work for Mr. Bennett. We look a lot alike. That's my name right there, Martin Kaczynski. What's the matter? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, that Beal. He's some character. <laughs> Says he's going to get me a top shot lawyer and then uh, wants to save a couple bucks, sends in the second team. Well, can I talk to you? I don't know. You any good at this attorney stuff? I don't know. I can usually make it past the second inning. <laughs> yeah, well, what can I do for you, Mr. Uh, Kaz is as a... Uh, Kaz is cool. I just want your version of what happened, okay? Version? I don't have a version. I got the facts, man. Okay, the facts. Well... Coming out of the ballpark the other night, heading for my car. And uh, these two creeps come up to me and start running this uh, 
autograph routine, you know? How do you mean routine? Look, these guys are creeps. You know, they go to a ballpark, they want to take apart the seats, you know? Maybe roll a drunk, they get a little loaded, you know? So I come out, they, they give me this, hey! Hey, look over there, there's, uh, there's our super bad mad dog over there! Yeah, you're our hero, Mad Dog. Can we get an autograph from you if you know how to write? You know, one of those? <laughs> yeah, I got it. You got that? Yo, they were doing a number on you. Right. Pumping themselves up at my expense. You know, and most of the time I can handle that kind of stuff. So, you know, I pass it off with a wisecrack, something like that. But I don't know. I've, I've been in kind of a slump lately, so uh, I told them to buzz off. So. Those are the words you use? Buzz off? Yeah, something like that. Okay. So this guy shoves me, and, uh, and I shove him back, and then we're shoving around, and I'm into it, you know? Which guy hit you first? They did. Big guy. Big guy. Were there any witnesses? No. So what do you think? I think it's your word against their word. Right. Who's going to believe? Mad Dog Stover, right? Well, it would be better if your name was Cuddles Lapidus. <laughs> you know, the crazy thing is, that's all an act. You know, I do that to fill up the seats out there and pump up my paycheck. I ain't no angel, but there uh, wasn't too many angels to survive my neighborhood. You don't have to explain. I think we come from the same block. Yeah? And you know what I'm talking about. It's kind of tough to lose those habits, right? Can we substantiate just how far you have come? You mean like good deed stuff? Community work, charities. Well, there's a... There's a settlement house I work for. I kind of support it, and uh, I go over there and work with a bunch of kids a couple days a week. Wow. That's beautiful, man. Uh... What's the name of it? Oh, no, wait, no, wait a minute. I don't, I don't think I want to go public on this. I don't think those kids need to feel like they're somebody's charity case. You want to be able to help those kids? You got to give me something, man. The rock group Fever destroys an unhire hotel floor. They pay damages and are exonerated. Why persecute the lads? Their latest album is number two in the charts, and after all, they were just freeing themselves of their uptight inhibitions. Malloy, I'm late. Hold your horn, I'm coming to it. Your friend, Miss McKenna, continues. And now the latest example of celebrity justice. Dean Mad Dog Stover was released from jail last night only three hours after beating two youths senseless. Youths. The mitigating circumstances? The Panthers could hardly win the pennant without their star hurler, and his victims did have the audacity to ask this master of the bean ball for an autograph. Where does she get to the part about the lynching? Hold it, I'm not finished yet. This writer has always believed that celebrities should be governed by the same laws and punishments as their less exalted brethren. Perhaps such thinking is merely sour grapes. You through? Mm. How does it look? I tell you, it's not bad. It's not a perfect match, but it really isn't You bad. sure? This is a very fancy restaurant. Wait, I don't wait, want wait, people wait. looking at me. Wait a minute. Hold it. No one's going to know. You sure? Okay. Yeah, I got it. Here, put this on. Cover it up. What is this? It's a button, a political button. Everybody will think you're politically aware. I like Ike. Bon chance. I have ordered per your instructions, mademoiselle. And for why? I have chosen a Puy Fuisse 72. <laughs> a very good year. Not for me. That's when I got four to six. <laughs> Thank Monsieur. you, Kurt. Monsieur. That's all I get? Um, Kaz, taste it. Oh. <laughs> I saw that movie. Is it okay? Yeah, it's terrific. Oh, I'm supposed to. It's, it's terrific. Merci, monsieur. They know you very well here. Did you used to work in the kitchen? No, I, I didn't work in the kitchen. You know how occasionally you take out other ladies? Well, occasionally other gentlemen take me here. I don't want to hear about it. Now you're cooking, Kurt. <laughs> Thank you. Merci. Forgot the, uh... I love you when you laugh. You're beautiful. Oh, I don't know if I go along with beautiful. Why not? 
To me, you're more beautiful than any movie star in this whole world. Sante? Actually, celebrity comparisons aren't the way to my heart these days. Yeah, I know. I read your article. Yeah? What'd you think? I think we should have dinner. Le dîner? Oh, pardon, monsieur. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I, I got it. Merci. Thanks. Des escargots chauvis de Marseille. Oh. Mademoiselle. Thank you. Oh. Et monsieur. Oh. Thank you, Kurt. Bon appétit. Oh. Bon appétit. What is this? Uh, escargot. Oh, escargot. What didn't you like about my article? Um, let's not talk about it now. I, I just, I just thought it was um, a little uh, overdone. That's all. A little overblown. In what way? Look, not every fan is a little Shirley Temple with a rainbow-colored autograph book. A lot of these people out there are animals, just ready to do a number on a guy like Stover, because he's a big star. You understand? Huh? How come you're defending Stover? Wait a minute. Are you defending Stover? What's the difference if I am? That's not the point. Oh, what's it like representing the Mad Dog? You take raw meat to your sessions? Come on, he really is not such a bad guy. Compared to who? Attila the Hun? He has some rough edges. So do a lot of guys with his background. Not all of us had the advantage of a middle-class upbringing, did we? Do you realize you're identifying with this thug? I, I mean, because he had a rough childhood, that gives him a license to be less than human? Perhaps if you did more specific background work, you would find out that the man happens to be a very decent human being. I don't need you to tell me how to do my job. No, you obviously don't need me to tell you how to do your job. What are you being sarcastic Not for? Not being sarcastic. I think it's very good for circulation to have an article about some gorilla superstar who runs a... Oh, come on. Sit, sit down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is, this is ridiculous. Oh, so now I'm being ridiculous. People are watching. Can we be civilized? What would you know about being civilized? Oh... Mademoiselle is not going. The chiro is also leaving. What are these prices, pal? Sit down, though. I need cab fare. Just sit down, I please. Need we'll talk. Cab fare. Five dollars will do it. Thank you. I'll pay you back. Kaz, you've got snail juice all over your lapel. These were snails? That's me and my father, Will Rogers. He taught me a lot of things when I was a boy. Now, always remember what he said about food. Know what's in it before you eat it. I know exactly what's in grape nut cereal because it's so simple. It's just natural wheat and barley with vitamins added, and it's baked into crunchy little nuggets that <laughs> even look simple. So if you're looking for something good with breakfast, I got a simple answer for you. Grape nuts, the simple cereal. Well, I guess this is goodbye. No more good old Cool Whip at Tucker Inn. We made some great desserts together. But you've been topped. From now on, my guests will be getting a new topping that tastes even fresher. Mmm, even more like homemade. I know. How can anything taste fresher than Cool Whip? Good old Cool Whip? Meet new, improved Cool Whip. Introducing new improved Cool Whip, non-dairy whip topping. Mmm, tastes even fresher, even more like homemade. This is a perfect JCPenney combination of style and savings. From now until November 3rd, our luxury touch blazer, reversible vest, and slacks are each 20% off. Their rich look and feel make this a real value, but there's more. If you buy this blazer, vest, and two pairs of slacks, you've got a coordinated wardrobe of six different combinations in a choice of colors. Luxury touch clothes at JCPenney. This is the way to lock up a great look for yourself. Dear Great Pumpkin, I'm looking forward to your arrival on Halloween night. They're back. All the little Peanuts characters in a happy Halloween special filled with ghosties and ghoulies and things that go bump in the night. It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, Monday at 8, 7 Central and Mountain. McKenna, please. I think she'd be in editorials now. 
Good morning, Frank. Would you hold out a second? Where are you going? No, no. What no? You want to talk about the Stover case. How'd you? you know that? I don't. Why? Kaczynski, you wouldn't believe the troubles that thing has caused me. What's the matter? My kids are giving me the silent treatment. Oh, no. Our plumber tried to take a punch at me this morning. You're kidding. And tonight, I faced the Little League team, my coach. Oh. I'd be more popular prosecuting Santa Claus. Well, look, I'll make you a hero in your own home once again. Reduce it to a misdemeanor. Uh, a misdemeanor? Kaczynski, one of the guys was in the intensive care unit. Well, maybe that's his own fault. Those guys have a record. Did you know that they beat up a vendor at the same ballpark last year? Why don't you do your homework? That's not admissible. We'll discuss that later. Come on, give me a break, will you please? No can do. Why not? Because the victims, the victims insist on pressing charges. You know something? What? Your kids are right. Can I go in now? Thank you. Hi. I'm Martin Kaczynski from, uh, Bennett, Alquist, and Reinhardt, I called you guys before. Oh. Yeah, we've been expecting you. Good. Um, I'll take a shot here. You're Bobby? No. That is Mr. Morrison. Hi, Mr. Morrison. Take it easy. And I am... Mr. Tepper. All right. Well, uh, as they say in bad movies, you probably understand the nature of my visit. Yeah, we understand. So why don't you just knock off the pearly smiles, man, huh? And forget the con. Okay. We want to know if you guys would like to settle out of court, because I'm sure you know the time and the legal fees in a case like this are considerable over. Yeah, well, we got the time. And you don't need much from lawyers. When it's obvious that we got beat up for no reason. Do you talk? He ain't talking. He doesn't say anything. He needs all the rest he can get to recuperate from the beating that uh, your man gave him. So you guys want to go to court? Let's just say uh, we want justice. Aha. How much justice? Five hundred grand to drop the criminal charges and another five hundred grand to drop the civil charges. Does Bobby say bye-bye? Say bye-bye, Bobby. Okay, everybody, now look alive, look alive. It's coming out that way. You ready out there? You ready out there, Donna? You all right? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, you ready? You ready? All right, we all ready in here? Okay, coming out now. Go for two! Go for two! Come on! Shove it over there now! Donner, what the, What are you doing out here, huh? What are you doing? I, what, how many times have I told you about this play? What are you doing? Donner, that is pathetic. You're coming in here from first base. You're supposed to try and intimidate this man. Your job is to break up this play. And when you come in here, you come in there with your feet up high. All right? You understand that? I want you to scare him. All right? Don't be pussyfooting around him. Now go back there and do it right. All right. Sorry, Dean. Hey, now don't tell me you're sorry. Just go and do it. Okay? Okay. Okay, let's do this one more time now. Okay, you ready? You ready? Now look sharp back there. Donna, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, all right. Okay, coming out there now. Let's hustle. Let's go. Let's hustle. Let's dig. Dig. All right, Donna. All right. Now that's the way to run that play. Come in there high and hard. All right, everybody in here. Come on. All right. That's the way you run that play. Yeah. Okay. That's enough for today, everybody. Colby, come on. Come on over here. Come on, get up and rub it off, man. You're all right. Ain't nobody coming over there to kiss it. Come on. That's it. All right. All right. That's it for today, everybody. All right. I want you to go in there and pick up all that equipment and stuff and head on into the showers. I'll see you next Thursday. Make sure you get all that equipment up, all right? All right, everybody, in the shower, one, two. Washing up that wind soap. Here's everything. Come on, move. Wait for me. You looking for
for somebody? I'm Katie McKenna. McKenna? Newspaper broad did that railroad job, huh? Yes, that broad. <laughs> but I came over here to make sure I wasn't doing a railroad job. And? And I think it's despicable what you're doing with these boys. Well, uh, baseball's a hard game, you know? Played the Mad Dog Stover way it is. Played the winning way it is. Is that all you think these boys need to learn, how to win? I figure they already know too much about losing. Now, if you want any more help writing articles on me, I'm going to have to get paid. Here's your proofs. <laughs> Thank you, Warren. McKenna. What kind of fool am I? Who ate my escargot? Hello? Uh, do I hear a chuckle? A small guffaw. Are you still there? I don't know if I'm talking to you. Who do you think you're talking to? <laughs> Your first mistake was to pick up the phone. Uh, hi. Did you get my flowers? Uh, I, I don't know. I've been out all day. Okay, that's not important. What is important is that there was a card in there. Did you get my card? Well, I'll, uh, I'll check. What is important is that I'm sorry. Hey, I'm serious now, babe. I'm very sorry. Uh, you were right. You were very right about Stover. I was identifying with him. Actually, you weren't that out of line. I hadn't done my research. Am I forgiven? Probably. Probably? I don't want to make it too easy. All right, let's make it really difficult. How about... Another shot at whatever the uh, place is. What do you call that? The Cafe Maison? Probably. Can we make this definitely more? Say tonight at... Uh, uh, how do you say eight in French? Wheat. What? Wheat. <laughs> tonight at wheat? Cass, I love wheat. I love roses. Escargot, baby. This apparently goes on every afternoon at the playground where he instructs the boys in the fine art of Spiker. Stover has considerable experience in leading young men. During his adolescent years, he served as a warlord of the Golden Pharaohs, a teenage gang that terrorized Chicago's South Side. Mary? Yeah? Does this match? You sure there's not too many stripes? No, it looks fine. That's you what sure? they're wearing. It looks terrific. Oh, Malloy! Good, Malloy. In bowling, they call out a Brooklyn side split. Oh. Give me that oh, Kaz. Kaz, no, no, please don't get upset again, Kaz. Please. It concerns my client. I have to read it. She's not only trying the poor guy, she's convicting. Don't you like your salad? What is this, an investigation? The true expose of why Martin Kaczynski will not eat his salad? What's bothering you? Nothing, I'm, so, I'm fine. Everything's hunky-dory. It's my article, isn't it? Oh, uh, yeah. Let's not talk about it. It is. We might as well get it I out of I don't want to talk about it. Let's not talk about it. OK? Voila. Marcel, je vous en prie. Fit for the guards, blanket, du beau. <laughs> Feel stew, monsieur. Look, why are we always talking shop? Okay. Okay. How's your apartment? Swell. Just keeps hanging out there on the third floor. Actually, I'm thinking of sending it to prep school in the fall. Why Stover? Because he's newsworthy. The public has a right to know who they're making into a hero. Millions of kids want to be just like him. Are you sure you're not stretching the public's right to know into a crucifixion? Chaz, you told me to do more research. Well, I did. I wrote what I found. Darling, what you wrote could get this guy convicted of a crime, by the way, that I don't think he's guilty of. Yes. All right, listen to me. 
the information you printed today is prejudicial to this particular assault charge and making it public knowledge is both damaging and unfair. For someone who is supposed to be open, you're getting a hernia straddling the First Amendment. You're damn right I'll straddle the First Amendment when it deprives a man of a fair trial. And that man just happens to be your client? What the hell difference does it make who it he is? It makes a lot of difference. Maybe you and Stover are more alike than I thought. All you care about is winning. Kurt! Please? Yes, monsieur? Give me a check. I'm leaving. Yeah? See you, cab fare. Oh, monsieur! Monsieur! Oh, monsieur! Oh, monsieur! Sleep. I'm sorry, Kaz. I shouldn't have said some of the things I said. Come here. You know we're gonna break up over this garbage if we're not careful? Yeah. I know. Why don't we just promise not to let our business interfere with us? You mean make a pact? <laughs> I promise if you promise. Like that? So how do we seal it? We, um, cut our fingers and mix our blood? I got a better way. Are we keeping you from anything? No, what? Why don't I make you a sandwich? You must be starving. I'm not hungry. Well, it'll only take a minute. You want to keep your strength up? Holy cow, I'm not into interrupting anything, am I? Ah, oh, no. Oh, hey, Ken, it's up. What is it doing? <laughs> Listen, why don't you say something? All right, all right, hold it. I'm coming. Hold it. What are you... Oh, hey, come on in. Hey, there was a funny game winner in here before. Hey, Kaz, look who's here. What are you doing here? I think you and me better have a little talk about this. Look, Dean, I am as upset about this as you are. Oh, yeah? There's nothing I can do about it now. Why don't we discuss it tomorrow? Well, tomorrow's kind of a long way off, so why don't you just tell me what you're planning on doing right now? I don't know what I'm going to do about it, but I'll think of something. Why don't you go home and get some sleep? Hey, Dean, the book in tomorrow's game is six to five against the Panthers. You see what I gotta put up with? I've been getting this from every newspaper reporter and creep in this town. I'll tell you what, we'll check you into a hotel. Oh. Malloy, get him a cab. Yeah, Come sure. Here. I uh, hope you like tuna fish. What's she doing here? She, uh, we're friends. Friends? Yeah. Yeah? Well, your friend here is trying to put me behind bars. Hey, don't put that on me. Right. I'm not living your life. I'm just reporting it. Well, what the hell do you know about my life? Please. Anything else? Take it easy, Listen, please. if I printed any lies about you, Katie, you shut up. Of course, I got shut you up. Me, you I'll tell you to shut up, please. I'm asking you, Malloy. Are you serious? Will you get her out of here? Oh, me? Yeah, 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 come on. That, that, oh, oh, oh that's right. I forgot. Oh. I can take care of myself. Come on, will you? You're going to get hurt over there. It's all right. Take it easy. Take it easy. What's the matter? I'm sorry. I don't know what's the matter with me <laughs> taking off after women and... Ah, that's all right, kid. It would have been over my dead body anyway. Yeah? Well, don't press your luck. Rejoice 
a totally new Z car, the new Datsun 280ZX. Lush velour cockpit, computerized safety check, power steering, five speed with cruise control, four speaker stereo, four wheel disc brakes. Here's luxury and performance found in cars costing thousands more. Datsun's new ZX is awesome. We Hi, I'm Carlo Rossi. I've learned a lot about tasting wines. I've done it for over 45 years. Of course, we're always tasting Carlo Rossi wines. Well, this is the only way you can get uh, consistent quality. You'll like our Rhine wine. It's fresh, and fruity, just a hint of natural sweetness. I know you'll taste the difference experience makes. I like talking about Carlo Rossi Rhine wine, <laughs> but I'd rather drink it. Got a wishbone, Pete? Sure. I wish my chicken would turn out moist and tender. Here's your wish. Shake and bake coating mix. Watch. Fried chicken, baked, and chicken made with shake and bake. All three are crispy, but fried chicken can be dry and baked chicken can be dry. With shake and bake, you get your wish. The most moist, the tenderest chicken of them all. Shake and bake coating mix. A crispy chicken at its tender best. will continue. Monday, Charles and Klinger get lost in the storm. Officer, have you seen my mommy? And so does Radar's guinea pig. The then the big guy's about to make radio history at WKRP. All it's going to take is your complete cooperation, absolute secrecy, and 20 live turkeys. WKRP at a special time after Mash at 9, 8 Central and Mountain. Tomorrow on CBS. We all live in fear of the effect narcotics can have on our children. It's frightening to think that over 20% of our high school students have had contact with drugs other than marijuana. And it's only going to become worse unless we increase the penalty for selling drugs to a minor. As Attorney General, I won't have to be reminded how important it is to solve this problem. Because as a parent, I'm reminded every day. Drugs, a special report, Tuesday at 5 and 6. Good morning, Sam. Good morning. You want to see me? Yeah, I just had a very uh, heated conversation with Albert Beals. He and Dean, uh, well, he wants you off the case. Oh, Sam, I'm doing the best I can, but the... The press is really coming down hard on this case. Yeah, the press being written by Katie McKenna. Dean was not overjoyed to observe your attachment last night. Wait a minute, they don't think Katie and I are in cahoots on these articles, do they? Oh, that's exactly what they think. You know, Cash, I had to put the Panther account and the firm's reputation on the line in persuading Beale to, uh, to let you try this case today. I thank you, Sam. I appreciate your confidence in me. Well, can't you at least restrain her, at least till we get this thing settled? Every time I try to restrain her, she does more. All right. You're going to have to use legal recourse to stop her. Sam, our relationship is shaky enough as it is. Cass, I I'm going to be tied up in Division 10 all afternoon. Now, this is your ball game. Good choice of words once again. Cass, what's more important, your personal relationships or the innocence of your client? Has. I'm thinking it over. <laughs> Look what we have here. Wait. Is it true about the Golden Pharaohs, Dean? Hey, man. No on. comment. Thank Through you. the first punch, Dean. No comment. Thank Does you. Does this trial affect your pitching tonight, Dean? Not as much as the lack of oxygen. Thank you. Cass? One second. Just sit on the left, all right? The left table. Where'd hey. she go? Oh. I just wanted to thank you for last night. You know how you can thank me? Hmm. Cover another case. Hey, what happened to our pact? All right, I'll remember our pact. No matter what happens in there, will you remember our pact? Certainly. You got it. Counselor, are you sure you haven't got a comment for me? No, nothing. You can send her that picture, are we? People versus Dean Stover, case number A612437. Mr. Kaczynski. Sir? 
Is the defendant here? Uh, I'm sorry. Yes, Your Honor. Your Honor, I apologize for not having previously submitted all points and authorities on the issue of pretrial publicity. I am asking that all parties be hereby restrained from talking to the press about this case. Your Honor is asking for a gag order. I think the public has a right to know. I'm familiar with the Constitution. Do you wish a continuance? No, Your Honor, I do not. I have the papers here. I just prepared them, I'm sorry. Bailiff. Thank you. Sorry, Frank. Do you wish to argue this motion, Mr. Revko? Your Honor, I, I'm not prepared to argue the motion, but I would insist that it is in conflict with the public's right to know and be involved in the news, and uh, therefore is a, a violation of the First Amendment. Uh-huh. Mr. Kaczynski. Your Honor. In all probability, defense will be seeking a trial by jury. But given the special nature of Mr. Stover's celebrity, we believe that any further media coverage would be highly prejudicial and detrimental to Mr. Stover receiving a fair trial. Your Honor, a fair trial is the cornerstone of justice and indeed of a free society. In accordance with the Sixth Amendment of the Constitution of the United States, which is in direct descendant of the Magna Carta, which originally gave... Thank you very much, Mr. Kaczynski. I had to take that course also. In a contest between the first and the sixth, the first will have to yield. That's with taking note of the nature of uh, Mr. Stover's celebrity. I cannot squelch the press, but I can make it known to all concerned parties that I am consenting the motion for gag order. No one, no party will talk to the press. Any and all violators of this order will be held in contempt. This court will be recessed until 2 o'clock. Okay, neighborhood? Oh, yeah. You got it, though. Yeah. Get out of here. Counselor, my full apologies. It's all right. Thank you, sir. Do you remember what I said outside? Is our date on for Saturday night? Yes, you... Barrister. Oh, thank you. They're murdering the bomb. They're killing him. Oh. Hey, up. Cash on the barrel head. You got lucky that time. Take the bomb out! Quit lobbing it up there, mad dog. Pretend they want your autograph. Yeah. <laughs> your friends are giving me a headache. Come on, guys. They're just some fans having a good time. Hey, five bucks. The next pitch is a strike. You're covered. Hey, mad dog. You forget how to rumble. Hey, sweetheart. Why don't you give the guy a break, huh? Good break. Don't you read the papers? He belongs in a cage! <laughs> okay. Relax, they're drunk. Oh, Wuxter, Wuxter, read all about it. What are you doing here? Hey. Uh, Albert Beale invited me. I think he's trying to win me over. Hey, sweetheart, don't forget what the judge said, huh? Take it easy. I'm only interested in observing the special nature of Mr. Stover's celebrity. Get rid of this gangster bum! 
Yeah. Who are you? You ball player? You come out here and do it? Come on, here's the ball. Come on. Oh, what's the matter, Mad Dog? Need your golden pharaohs behind you? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Punk. Do you see what happens? He makes a fortune off this image, Kaz. He's got to learn to take it. Hey, simmer down, Kaz. Mad Dog does his best pitching when he's mad. Hey, give me two to one in a hundred. The Mad Dog shuts him out for the rest of the inning. No, he's blowing up. Make it three to one. Yeah, hey, you cover two to one. Better bring a guard with you, Whitey. How'd your drunken bums clam up? It's home to Mama, Mad Dog. Yeah. <laughs> Help her clean your switchblade. <laughs> 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 According to a reliable source, the nature of the attack upon the fan by Mad Dog Stover yesterday parallels that of his assault on Hank Tepper and Bobby Morrison. I order you to tell this court who the reliable source is referred to in this article. Your Honor, I can't. I won't reveal my source. Regretfully, Miss McKenna, I have no choice but to hold you in contempt of court. Cheeseburger at Burger King. A quarter pound of beef, two big slices of savory cheese. It's a double beef cheeseburger, a quarter pound of beef. Lots and lots of tasty cheese, it really can't be beat. Our double cheeseburger. Who's got the best cheeseburger in the whole wide world? Burger King and I. Lots of people are more careful choosing a pain reliever now. Plain aspirin sometimes upset my stomach. With Bufferin, I get protection ingredients. I used Tylenol until I learned it couldn't give me an added relief action I want. Oh, now I'm more careful to use Bufferin. An added relief action in many cases that Tylenol never provides. An added protection Bear and Anison don't have. Bufferin is the only leading tablet with both. Now I'm careful to get both. A relief action I want and protection ingredients with Bufferin. Fortune cookie from the Green Giant. What's it say, Sprout? Soon to savor Oriental flavors. Gosh, how? In the Giant's Chinese-style vegetables. This unique combination of crisp pea pods, water chestnuts, and bean sprouts, plus the Giant's own good vegetables, has a delicious Oriental flavor. There's more. Yeah, he has three delicious Oriental vegetable combinations. As honorable Giants say... Ho, ho, ho. Green Giant. You're free to go, McKenna. Oh, yeah? How come? Your bail's been posted. Oh, yeah? Say, you don't happen to know if my editor's out there, do you? Or did he send his attorney? Which one's Polish? You may tell Mr. Kaczynski that I will wait for my newspaper to bail me out. Wait a second. I am not leaving. <laughs> That's what he figured. He said if you wouldn't come out to bring you this. Mmm, it's Chinese food. It smells terrific. Welcome back, Big Al. How'd it go down at the big house? Not exactly a piece of cake. Yeah, they're for you. You want me to frisk them? Nah. I think I'll take my chances. 
Oh, what can I do for you, gentlemen? We want to talk to you about the number you're doing on Dean. You got him all wrong, lady. Now, now, wait a minute. I know Mr. Stover's a good friend of yours and a terrific pitcher and all that, but everything I've printed about him has been the truth. Yeah, what about the stuff you're not printing? Well, I put it in one article that he's coaching you guys. Yeah, but you made it sound like he's training us to be hitmen. Dean may be a tough dude, but he's a fair dude, too. And he does all kinds of things for us. Yeah, he keeps us from fighting. Makes us study. Stops us from getting down on ourselves. And I don't see no one else coming down to help us. Okay, all right. I get the idea. Well, are you uh, part of this fan club? I, uh, I came alone. But I do want to talk to you. There's something that's been eating at me. Uh, something I should have told someone a while ago. I left my brief. What are you doing here? Kaz, the commission is considering suspending Dean. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Two years. My age, two years, is just about forever. Oh, man, I'm sorry. Is there anything we can do to fight this? Well, the best bet is to get those two fans to drop the charges. You have any luck with that settlement? No way. Not with their injuries and the press on their side. Unless we can find one of your famous clubs, they're gonna have to cough up a bundle. I just ain't got the bucks. You know? Beal's not gonna stand behind me if I'm not playing ball for the guy. All right, Albert's not gonna let you down. Oh, yeah? Well, then how come all of a sudden he's too busy to make this meeting, huh? Uh, excuse me. Uh, yes, Miss Fogel, I'm in conference. Well, all right, send her in. Look, you guys got to help me out with this thing. You know, baseball's the only thing that's kept me off the streets. Now, I may not have come too far, but I got no plans for going back. I know where you're coming from, believe me. And I wish the hell there was something I... Well, this is a day of surprises. This is John Stillman. He came to me with some information about the Stover case. Oh, yeah? Mr. Stillman? I'll take anything I can get. What do you got? Well, I'm a beer vendor at the ballpark. Wait, 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 wait. You're the guy the two goons had a run-in with? How'd you know that? Well, in between dinner fiascos, I moonlight as an attorney. Sir, I thank you for coming over here, but the DA said that I can't use your testimony because it happened over a year ago, but thank you anyway. What do you mean a year ago? John had a run-in with those guys the night of Stover... Mr. Stover's fight. Yeah, I was working their section, and... They were pretty drunk after just a couple of beers. Probably a belt and something else for the game. Anyway, I told him I couldn't sell them anymore. We have this policy about serving drunks. And, and I told them. They said they were going to get me after the game. Maybe I shouldn't have given in, but they were pretty big guys. So well, I'll tell you. What a joy to meet a concerned citizen. I thank you, sir. I'm not too good at this, but, uh, thank you. It's okay. And uh, thank you. Yeah. And I'm not quite as eloquent as my friend Mr. Stover here, but Toots, come here. You're terrific. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Kaz, you got your club. Okay. Gobble, gobble. It's turkey time, fellas. Our final offer. If you drop the charges, you get five grand. Five grand, Hank? Cool it, Bobby. Hey, we don't even start talking till you add a couple of zeros. You didn't hear me very well. What did he do, hit you in the ear? Five, final. Hank, what do you think? I mean, you know, we could... No uh... way! How you feeling, Bobby? Taking your pills? Now, the nurse told me you take three every couple of hours. That's 50 to 75 cents a pop, plus I found out what you're paying for this room. $250 a day. You haven't even paid your doctor bills yet. That adds up pretty heavy, doesn't it, for an unemployed guy, I mean. That's your side's problem. You work it out, sucker. You still think you got a case, huh? Well, it's our word against some guy named Mad Dog. Now, we also got another guy. A vendor at the ballpark. Who will testify you guys were smashed and try to rough him up that night? I knew it, man. I told Shut you. Shut up. Now, what has that got to do with us and Stover? It's enough for me to win the case or else keep it on appeal so long you guys will be receiving your payments along with your Social Security benefits. 
How about ten grand? You don't hear good either? Five. Let's go, guys. Hey, you stay out of this. No, you listen to me, man. You got less than 300 bucks in bills. I got over 3,000. Mr. Mastermind. Hey, you're asking whoa, whoa, for it. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's how you asked Stover for his autograph? Like that? Nah. No, no. Come on, Bobby. Just sign it. I'll make it out to you personally. All you have to do is sign this release form also, okay? How about 6,500? I'm writing your name, Bobby. Hey. You can't make no deal without me. Of course he can. All he has to do is testify that you're the one who threw the first punch. Here it is, Bobby. I'm signing it. Hey, he's trying to split us up. Can't you see that? You know, he sees a lot. I think he sees more than you give him credit for. Come on, sweetheart, sign. Give me the pen. Why, well, you... Hey, 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 easy. Pussy cat. See that there? You see that? Take a look at it. That, my friend, is called assault. I'm uh, glad to see you've got your appetite back. Mademoiselle, I am a man of many appetites. You know, I think it was, uh, it was kind of good we had these fights. Although there really shouldn't have been any problem in the first place. I thought saying there should never have been an apple in the Garden of Eden. No, seriously. You were a little paranoid about how the public would handle the truth. I am paranoid about the public. Happy to know that these people are overhearing everything I'm saying and that they're after me. I'm serious. Now, come Excuse on. Excuse me. Uh, aren't you? <laughs> Excuse me, I'm just. Now, come on, admit it. If it hadn't been for the press, Stillman might never have stuck his neck out. That is like saying, without Hitler, there never would have been an armistice. Are you comparing me to Adolf Hitler? No, I'm not. Oh, how is it that we differ? Hitler was shorter and he had a mustache. Well, if you think I'm going to sit here and take this kind of abuse. Just a moment, young man. Are you about to leave in a huff? Certainly. Why don't you leave in a cab? <laughs> Just a moment. Kurt! Oui? Yes, monsieur. Desert! Freshly cut steak after seven days on the shelf of a frost-proof refrigerator. Freshly cut steak after seven days in the meat tender of a Frigidaire refrigerator. The Frigidaire meat tender keeps meat fresher longer because it surrounds it with its own supply of cold air. And you can get one in a Frigidaire refrigerator. With what you pay for food these days, it pays to insist on a Frigidaire. Autumn belongs to football. Let's Best Foods. Autumn belongs to Best Foods. Warm up the season with this easy recipe. Brush Best Foods real mayonnaise on chicken, dip in breadcrumbs, and bake. It's great. Mind if I uh, intercept? Uh -huh. Autumn belongs to Best Foods. Always so creamy. Always so fresh. So bring out the best foods and bring out the best. Franklin for 79 Dodge Aspen. As an inventor, I'm a tad jealous I didn't come up with this new Dodge Aspen wagon. There's over 70 cubic feet for cargo, or enough room for Jefferson, Adams, myself, and our dates. <laughs> Yet Aspen's price will help you remember, a penny saved is a penny earned. Dodge Aspen, small in all the right places, yet big for its size. A wagon to keep you healthy, wealthy, and wise. Hey, that's my Dodge. Guys, there's been an inmate takeover at your old prison. The prisoners have asked for you to be a go-between with the state. Now, that could be a real feather in your cap, sport. I've had a bullet in my head, sport. Now, I could ask you not to get involved in this, but I'm not going to. I do have a lot of friends in there. If one guard is hurt from this moment on, I'm going to bring in the National Guard. If any of the guards get hurt, the governor's going to send in the National Guard. You tell the governor that if he brings in any troops, there will be a whole lot of hurting going on here. You got a pressure cooker situation here, and this guy's running rapid. Uh, Kaz, he's doing a job. He's just doing his job. This guy doing a job could get a lot of people killed. Who oh, touched me? Don't you touch me? I've told you a thousand times in my head, man. Don't make me do it for real. You ain't going nowhere, Cass. You're not telling anybody how we're sitting up here. I am out of here! I can't tell it from looking at you. You're gonna fight like us, you're gonna be locked up like us. And we'll find out which side you're on.
This is a mock-up of a bomb. It's harmless. But there's a real time bomb clicking away in California today. It's called Proposition 5. It chips away at our rights. It tells us how to live our lives. That's the way freedom dies. Today it's smoking. But what will they try to regulate next? What we can say? What we can read? Let's stop the regulators before they stop us. Vote no on Proposition 5. Next on Dallas. I want my mama invited to my birthday. No way, honey, that's out. I hate this family! Lucy runs away and is taken hostage. Be cool, right there. It goes for everybody else, too. You and me, we pulled it off. <laughs> Your face. Stay with us for this exciting episode of Dallas, coming up next. Tuesday, meet the average American couple with two kids and the family dog. It's a Halloween you'll never forget. Devil Dog, the Hound of Hell, at 9, 8 Central and Mountain. Weather today in the greater Cincinnati area. They're solid plastic. <laughs> Venus Flytrap with you always. The moon will be even higher than usual tomorrow night when WKRP goes on the air at a special later time, 9.30, 8.30 Central and Mountain, right after MASH. And the moon will not be the only object in the sky as our station tries a special giveaway gimmick involving some turkeys. I won't spoil the surprise by telling you what happens to those birds, but I do suggest you keep your eyes open. Tomorrow night, 9.30, 8.30 Central and Mountain. Now stay tuned for Dallas next.